Star, 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 Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. It's, it's true. not Star Wars. It's a different one. It's it came a very before different, Star Wars. Different, different, different one. <laughs> It did come before Star Wars, right? I, oh, I'm you like, can't say that on the air, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I assume I mean, look, so, right? T- TOS was the 60s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For 60s, sure. yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, f- fuck you, Star Wars fans. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's fine. It's given fine. the choice between the two of them, at this point, I think I would take Trek. Yeah, not modern Trek. Modern Trek is bad, boy. Yeah, but have you watched <laughs> Modern Trek and compared it to Modern Star Wars? I think at least Modern Star Wars is at least no. <laughs> well, oh wait, you also have to, you, to, you, also have the... to you also have to start caveating like are you including the Mandalorian or no are you not? Are you yeah. what I guess of Star I haven't Wars seen the Mandalorian, but neither Sarah's, have I. But... but Sarah's very picky and she found it okay. So okay. I, I I must admit that makes me go oh that's probably fine and how susceptible yeah. is she to um focus grouped cuteness that's the thing she she does think baby yoda is cute but she, that that wears really thin for her really fast she doesn't really care about that what's its real I, name I, grug uh Gro- oh, grogu. Grog- grogu grogu yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell i i like the I refuse Mandalorian. to watch now <laughs> I, I i dig it because it's pretty much a western like yeah it's, it's episodic right yeah and they yeah. have like an overall yeah goal they're trying to do but it's still episodic and things just tie in in here and randomly most episodes fall under like either like a sergio leone western or mm-hmm. a akira kurosawa like a mysterious stranger yeah. rolls yeah. into yeah. town yeah the Both town of which has an ailment on westerns yes so. yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> um it, it, so. uh, it's fun it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, that I think that's a good like Star Wars has had plenty of shows that were like great told serially, like, you yeah. know, Clone Wars, um, Rebels, etc., right? Yeah. Um, so I think th- they but it becomes complicated. Uh, excuse I think. me, it's called Star the Clone Wars Wars. Look at the logo. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You look at the logo and why did you, they jam it in between Star and Wars? <laughs> Cause it's cool. It looks cool. Uh, it's visually appealing for have symmetry. Welcome to Star Trek, everyone. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. This uh, week we had watched Home Soil. Um, even after watching the episode, I don't remember it at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like one I, of yeah. those. It, 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 it's one of those. Like th- this episode feels like a boilerplate episode yeah it's it was like i'm i'm like actually surprised i don't remember having previously watched this because i'm just like there's some stuff here that like i would it came have together for me like i finally remembered which episode this was once the the crystalline entity well no that's a completely it's different a different thing. a different crystalline entity <laughs> well it is crystalline eventually yeah. it becomes a little spiky ball glowing yeah. in, in its little uh, yeah. beauty and the beast rose case <laughs> and um <laughs> <laughs> it's a micro brain. Once I, well, yeah, that's what they call it, micro brain. And yeah, uh, yeah. once I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, that thing. But then I forgot everything else. Yeah. So, yeah, that's home soil, everyone. Thanks yeah. for <laughs> listening to our podcast. <laughs> Join us next week for uh, a coming of age. Oh, coming of age. That's a, that's one I think I remember, actually. Oh, yes, okay. I, this is the this is definitely one I remember. Um, but um, yeah, home soil. Uh, I guess we should talk about what happened when it came out. It came out on February 22nd of 1988. Uh, so, Dan, if you could please tell us what happened around that time, that'd be fucking awesome. All right. So, history-wise, uh, I do want to um, append uh, my last week's um, news with... Um, oh. I mentioned the Olympics, but I didn't know where the hell the Olympics were. Mm-hmm. Um, it was in Calgary, Canada which oh. uh, adds some more drama to that uh, Battle of the Brines that I mentioned. Um, the but Canadians? the Olympics were ongoing for that whole week. They're still going as of the, the 22nd. Okay. Um, however, on the 25th, three days from the air date, uh, South Korea would adopt its current constitution. 
So, oh, really? Yeah, how about that? It was that recent? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, oh. South Korea's made some big strides in the last few decades. Um, is this the is this the year that that the first president died? Um, I would not know. Um, you know, I'm Korean, I know- so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Because there was the that first president, um, not he. Well, he's not really considered a president because he was like, like, because it, it's weird. Because it's first president, I George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington just went over to South Korea. To no, no, George Washington. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was a uh, Park Chung Yi who was um, uh, he's like a supposed to be president but then he be basically became a dictator like president for life you know that sort of thing mm, and then i, you know, I that, did not look far enough into it to have that piece of trivia ready okay so he was he was assassinated far before that eight years before that oh, so thank god and and there was <laughs> i guess i guess there was some there's a period of political strife so that might have been like by 1988 they were like okay let's just settle down with our democracy and really cement it and, you know fix that up the other thing i also wanted to uh do what is it called like a retraction or like what do the newspapers do when they yeah, make a mistake call the retraction if there's a mistake okay so i made a i made a slight mistake last week i was talking about tarkovsky and how he died from nuclear radiation uh-huh. during stalker it wasn't nuclear radiation it was it was uh chemicals in water from a nearby chemical plant when you're shooting oh. stalker so uh, bitch, dude. yeah you and really apparently that us, dude. Yeah, apparently that area <laughs> in general was really weird. Apparently, while they were shooting in the middle of the summer, it started snowing, and they were like, "How the fuck did that happen?" Place uh, sounds haunted. <laughs> like that's some, a curse. Some sort of ghost is stalking them. Nah, science <laughs> has left that place. It's curse time. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the last piece of news, and this one's for Ricardo. Yeah, in four yeah. days time on yeah. February twenty six. Bloodsport released in theaters. Fuck yeah, dude! And cinema was reborn <laughs> in blood, in blood, and sport. <laughs> <sighs> that that man. You know how there's national treasures. This is, this is an earthly treasure. Van Damme is an earthly treasure. If if aliens came to Earth, we we should just show them Van Damme clips. It's like, listen, <laughs> look, you don't want to fuck with us, dude. Or this guy will fucking roundhouse the shit out of your face, dude. Back the it's, fuck up. <laughs> it's it's too bad that it was it was like it was he was um revealed to be a, a fake, right? The 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 Frank the guy Frank Dukes? Yeah, uh, put up I your. You're talking about Johnny Cage, <laughs> but he's not a fake. He was went the, to the <laughs> tournament to prove it. Yeah. That's true. And if you follow Mortal Kombat canon, Johnny Cage is like the strongest human ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because he has Greek blood yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's t- oh, I didn't know a, that part. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It's got olive oil, of course, you can throw his veins. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, yeah, Van Damme is the best, dude. I, 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 I don't know what to say. But he cannot play Captain John Luke Picard. <clears throat> no because no. it's look i don't want to get into it it's even too- though he's more french than <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is he's true. at least belgian which matches more closely here it, I, I will i will say a man who can play i was thinking about this i took the the week to think about who i would recast <laughs> in my star trek reboot mm-hmm. and if we can't get jason steve them because he's he's a busy man he's he's just, you know Got, yeah. He's a man about town. A lot of fingers yeah. and lots of yeah. pies. Plus, yeah. plus, Jason Statham is one type of actor if we're making one movie. But we live in a world, especially now with the DC universe, where it's like a <laughs> it's a multiverse. Yeah, you know I mean, we, we, we can make especially we can make, with the DC yeah, universe. Yeah. We can make five Batman movies at once. So we, that's all so, we have. So, that's we, all we, have. so we have multiple Picards, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they all meet in one yep. like yep. massive uh, team up. It's like the Spider Verse. Yeah, into the Picard first. Yeah, <laughs> into the Picard. My first. second Picard, Vin Diesel. Mm. It's an over the top like, hey, I don't have a crew, I have family. <laughs> you know, it's like mm. we're, all fa- we're all family here. Yeah, on the Starship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, Welcome you get aboard out. the Triple X Enterprise. Yeah, <laughs> they all wear red because they're all family. Mess with all of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's funny because Vin Diesel would legitimately give a very serious, like full commitment performance because that's how well, he, he is, is also a huge things. nerd. I wouldn't be surprised if he has watched all TNG. Oh, I'm sure he has. Yeah, he's yeah. he's legitimately like a huge fan guy. He probably has of fan videos of him at reenacting Picard scenes because, like, <laughs> that's I'm why he shaved like his him. head. He was like, "Yeah, hey, it was hey. to model himself after after Patrick." I'm gonna be Captain um, Picard. And then I wanted to do like a like a really serious, but kind of look. It's gonna, this one's gonna be lo- really dramatic, but slightly over the top. It's gonna <laughs> okay. be Ed Harris taking it way too Ooh. serious, way too serious. He's like, "This is John Luke Picard of the SS Enterprise, and I will fuck you he's, up." He's a shitty. He's a shitty Picard. Yeah, he's like a he's like a version of Picard that is hasn't stuck to his values. Yeah, and and so he's he, become an asshole. He's kind of like he, an alcoholic. Would he be wearing the his glasses? Wife, the glasses? No, no, no glasses, mm, dude. Okay, okay. Um, I'm thinking more of like Ed Harris from The Rock. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. okay. I was thinking Ed Harris from uh, uh, American. Um, Horror stories? He was never in that. No, no, not American horror stories. The the, the uh, American Buffalo. He was in the is, is it gangster? Sir, um, the 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 movie where he uh, the movie. Fuck. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so bad with names. All of my um, what happened in the movie? Uh, Viga Mortensen is discovered to have like his. He was a gangster. And his past caught up to him. Oh, History of violence. You're thinking of of the, another actor, aren't you? Oh, am I? He was he was he well, not? He in was History in a History of violence. of violence. I can confirm that. But was he? Yeah, yeah. Isn't he the guy following him and saying, "You know what you did, Dom? Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. I forgot is, about that. Yeah, or, you're right. I was way off. Or not Joe? No, he's Joey. Yeah, he kept calling him Joey, and that's why he freaked out because he kept calling him Joey. And he's like, "What are you doing, you Joey?" And shit like that. So. Is he thought, in that? Are you thinking? Now, now, now we're confusing a, a lot of people. But he is in that. You're right. He is in that. I was thinking of William Hurt for some reason. Oh, okay. Well, um, William Hurt. Let's just throw him in the Picard verse as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So. yeah. Let's but just not collect all the bald actors and make them battle it out for the role. <laughs> yeah, dude. I feel like William Hurt was in some sort of Star Trek thing. Am I crazy? I feel like I had read that. Hmm. Let me let me just do a Google of that. No, nothing. nothing. So I'm 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 dumb. <laughs> well, that can, that really concludes. I have more, but I'll save them for the next episode. But I have more <laughs> uh, more pitches for my Picard. That uh, concludes some this younger, chapter. some older, some funnier, mm-hmm. some serious, some angrier, some anger. Yeah, yeah. How like young Statham's can you be Picard. while bald? <laughs> uh, how young? Really yes. young, dude. Yeah, really young. I mean, All if right. you watched the. Uh, if you ever watched uh, Star Trek Nemesis, you, the, you see a picture of young Picard bald. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had to they, they had to shave his head because the audience would be like, "That can't be a picture of young Picard. We have to sh- we have to what? shave his head so he'll look just like he is now." <laughs> and or else so he'll that, never recognize him. Also, so that Tom Hardy, who is currently bald for this movie, will also match because oh. that's that's the only way we can connect. Old Tom Hardy did. Oh, uh, it's so funny that that was one of Tom Hardy's earliest roles, Star Trek Nemesis. Where yeah, he just plays yeah. like a zombie. <laughs> a zombie, huh? Yeah. Here, look, I'm gonna give one away for this for this for for this episode because uh, he doesn't really fit in. But mm-hmm. uh, a, a Latin, a Latin Picard. <laughs> we Mr. had a Latin Picard, Mister Worldwide Pitbull. <laughs> But we had a Latin Picard he, in that he, one he episode. He could dance where, on the bridge and fucking where, sing. <laughs> <laughs> or he was, it was uh, Captain Quinteros or Commander Quinteros. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It was the lat- that was him, man. I guess so. But he, the, he, but he would, he would, Pitbull would be playing Picard. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Worldwide Picard. <laughs> uh, with his reigns over Africa. Yeah. For, yeah. for, uh, for Aquaman. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, like it's kind of a bold move yeah. <laughs> to put yeah. that song <laughs> yeah. in your movie. Yeah, very yeah. bold. Well, like right, like the most on the nose song you could have chosen for flying over Africa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's all uh, you get, guys. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. You figure it out. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's dive into the episode, Home Soil. It's kind of a... 
Kind of a weird one, but anyway. Yes, very I weird. I think there's time for tangents with this episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Th- it's going to be a we fast no episode. Time. Fast okay. episode. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Okay. So the crew starts off and man... <laughs> <laughs> this could have been this could have been done in like 10 minutes why, why did they make a whole fucking hour out of this because <laughs> they have to um okay so <laughs> they they're they're cruising along and they're like oh we're gonna go look check in on a planet that's been getting sketchy communications i don't know what that means like are they not checking checking in on time it, it really they're they're not specific about like how their communications have been sketchy They've but been yeah, late on just, the TPS reports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they just they just really late and not not talking. Oh like, my god! Hey, you there? Yeah, basically, him Picard yeah, is really. being told to like you know to lombard it up and you know yeah walk yeah. up and go respond like respond to your yeah. slacks. Yeah, we we got we have to talk. <laughs> yeah. Um. So they're going to this planet this this planet that's being terraformed currently being being terraformed called Valera Three. Mm-hmm. Why three? I don't know. I guess this this is the third part. Of this movie, oh, there's probably Cardo, Valera one. I've, ex- I've Valera explained two. this to you already. I know, I know, but <laughs> I, I I probably don't remember it because I was probably drunk or high. Um, <laughs> in fact, that is the case. <laughs> then shall it so, be explained one more in time? Case, in, in case yes. you want another explanation, the Throw reason why it's called Valara three is because the sun is called Valara, and it's the third planet from Valara. Oh, okay, okay. All right, that's a shitty fucking lazy way of naming planets. But fine. <laughs> Let's go with that. Does our sun have a fancy name, or do we just call it sun? <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't it be called? Because Earth would then just be Sun Three, and I'm not sure I want to live on that planet. <laughs> no, our sun's called Sunny Side Up. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Yeah, and oh, we're wait. we're Sunny Side Up Three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, Uh-oh. our son does not have a generally accepted name. Damn it. So fuck it. <laughs> fuck our son, dude. The scientific name for the son is the son. This isn't man, I feel so betrayed. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm gonna get like a scoop of raisins in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> um so there's there's apparently a base in Valera 3 that is doing the terraforming and everyone's excited they're like well i've always wanted to, to go to <laughs> for stupid Riker with the stupid fantasy <laughs> he always wanted to see something yeah. he's, <laughs> he's always it's like you, you damn idiot fucking read about it or, or stop <laughs> stop wasting all your free time and everything you've been interested in yeah. has always backfired horribly yeah. in yeah. the show You're also like- how about one of these days you stop watching fucking harpsichord porn and you actually <laughs> play something educational on your your three 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 tv um, that implies like a hundred percent of his time off is just jacking off a hundred percent of the time <laughs> he he himself well, he has, a, a he couple of episodes ago the, a couple mm-hmm. episodes ago he said I, I'm not good at managing my time that's because once he starts cranking it there's no <laughs> It's no stopping There's him. No stopping him. Stopping him. Yeah, he just keeps yanking until, <laughs> until they're like, until like, hey, Riker, you're 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 fucking late. You're three days late back to back on duty. Oh, hang on, hang oh, on. God. He's got a. That's how he grew the beard. How do you think he, got, he grew the beard? <laughs> okay, just to clarify, you mentioned cranking. Is Statham involved? You know he is, dude. What do you think? Is it cranking? <laughs> He's oh, behind God. him cheering him on. Yeah. He's like, oh, oh mate. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, so they're in this planet. Man, this episode's gotten off. It's gone off the rails really fast. Yeah. But that's what because rails? there's not a lot of content for this, for this, for this fucking stupid episode. We're terraforming. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they're they're terraforming and they're like, yeah, we gotta get over there. So they talk to this old man who again looks like the fucking old man from up. <laughs> Like, I know. I th- I had to go and look up a lot like, of Ed Asner's yeah. guy. Sure. <laughs> so are they? Are they just going like? Is, is the casting director like all we have for older men are Ed Asner lookalikes? Do you want that? No, no this <laughs> is the like, casting director so. that desperately wanted Ed Asner and never yeah. got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, is that Asner available? Think, no. He's- I think it's also just like, a, this is, you know, a lot of white dudes just end up looking like Ed Asner as to get older. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it works. You reach a certain age and you're Ed Asnered up. Then you get or issued your new ID that says Carl on it. <laughs> Carl. 
Um, so, uh. so Carl's like, Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Uh, and and he's like, Yeah, well, we're we're trying to fucking reach you guys. And and he's like, Oh, sorry, we're really busy down here. And it's like, There's only four people down there. What? <laughs> <laughs> How busy could they be? So they're like, yeah, everything's fine. And they're like, well, we're, we're going to come down and, and check out what's going on, man. Like, uh, we, we're, we're curious. And he's like, nah, bad time. Bad timing. We're really busy. A lot of, mm-hmm. a lot of units. Yeah. And, 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 and you wonder like, what? what? This, this is the thing. I feel like everyone's stupid in the future. Even stupider than now. <laughs> like, they, he couldn't have come up with a better answer. Like, hey, you know what? We all, you know, colds. You know how we had gotten rid of the cold and the flu? Somehow we got them down here. So just stay away. You don't want one of those those colds that infects your whole ship. Let just just come back in a year. You will be hey, fine. Hey, you know what though, man? I'll, uh, your theory isn't all that outlandish because we just saw last episode on Aldea just how much uh, society can deteriorate when they stop yep. thinking for themselves. Yep. Mm. Yeah. And Star and Starfleet and you know everyone outside of Aldea has already kind of you know let tech take over their lives even more so than we have. So yeah, it's not out of the question. I mean, we will see an example later on where they're doing science. I'm doing air quotes, and it's just yelling at a computer to do it for them. <laughs> so. More electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that off. Uh, Even we'll, we'll get we'll get to that scene, but it's, it's but this it's you could already tell. <laughs> <laughs> we can already tell from this first scene that this this Ed Asner guy is yeah. a huge asshole. Yeah. Like you yeah. could, like why are you hiding things? And later we learn that he's hiding things because he's willing. He's so obsessed with his work that he's willing to just ignore everything just to do his really boring work. Yeah. And, well, and he also has like a bit of plausible deniability on his side. It's like he willfully ignored, you know, signs, like novel signs of life. It's kind of like a, you could choose to blame him or not. No, I choose to blame him. Yeah, we choose to blame him. He's a piece of shit. Right. <laughs> um, right, so... so- <laughs> so Ed Hasner uh, or Carl, he's like, "Hey, come back! It's a very inconvenient time." And right away, Deanna Troy, she's like, uh, "Something she sketchy is going out. on." Yeah, yeah, her her spidey sense is going off. Conveniently, now she she has a spidey <gasps> sense. That's what she has. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's th- she doesn't have telepathic abilities. She no. has spidey sense. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a much better way of putting it. And it, it fails all the time. in certain contexts. They're near sketchy people all the time, and, it, and she doesn't read them, apparently. <laughs> but uh, but today she's like, ah, some sketches going on. Uh, could be telling the truth. Could be not. And he's like, all right, well, let's go down there and check it out. We will invite ourselves yeah. and then just head down. Oh, wait. I actually just remembered other parts of the episode that make Ed Asner way more of a jerk. So, yes, I'm on your side now. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, we this episode. Worried. I keep forgetting pieces of it. Yeah. yeah. So, there's a total of um, three, one, two, three, four people. Yes, four people. Yeah. In this, 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 this whole operation of terraforming, this whole goddamn planet. Is run by four people, and yeah. by the looks of it, they're not very smart people. They're not <laughs> sending their best out to the no. world. Um, and also, here's here's a crazy thought: if you're going to send a crew to terraform, and it's going to take 20, 30 years, right? Mm-hmm. Why send a really old dude? <laughs> Who, well, in the so future, you're going to lose one guy right away. Boom, he's dead. Yeah. Right? Well, I think also in the future, people just live longer. Yeah, oh, just, uh, fuck! Imagine that, dude. Yeah. Remember, he doesn't <laughs> have any prosthetics that, on yet. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> he still needs to get old enough for prosthetics. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I don't want to imagine that fucking future, dude. <laughs> People are already living too long. Half <laughs> of the people in government are way too fucking old. <laughs> oh my god! What is that thing in in like Norse mythology where like once you get old, Valhalla? you gotta you gotta jump off rock? Oh, oh, I don't. Uh, that's I'm a thing. In, that's a thing that. in a lot of cultures. Yeah. What? The know. jump off the rock tradition? <laughs> yeah. Well, d- the old people need to go kill themselves tradition. Look, Where? I'm not saying we should do that, but I'm just saying, like, hey, you reach a certain age, you got sixty five is too old to, for retirement. You got to do it younger. People got to <laughs> retire young, like a little younger. Like, do you got to go like fifty eight? You got to go, no matter mm-hmm. what. You got to go. You, you we, we're we're gonna we're gonna 
fake social security so it actually <laughs> fucking works and at 58 you gotta you gotta go just sit to, down and have yeah, a have go to cancun relax. go move relax. move to another state here are your drugs in your vr set grandpa yeah 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 <laughs> that's what it'll be in the future dude you, 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 i just, feel like a lot of people would be really VR. happy yeah yeah go go fucking put on your fucking trump hat in the vr fucking thing <laughs> put you in fucking the trump we'll call it the geriatrix yeah <laughs> yeah uh, very good dude um, i'm looking forward to that honestly <laughs> yeah dude so we meet this girl this lady i'm sorry um and she is she's really fucking enthusiastic really oh, is fucking she? enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah she also is like the the actor is not great <laughs> like, no, no, no. It, it it feels like she's like a text to speech type, like talker or something, because she's very much like, "Hello, I will show you around. We are here with this thing." And then like the, the it doesn't help that they also give her like really awkward blocking around the set, where it feels like she has to go from spot to spot without like it doesn't feel natural at all. The whole yeah, thing is very yeah. uncomfortable as I watched. I was yeah. just like. If this is the first time I've, during the show where it has felt kind of awkward watching someone's performance. Okay, to be honest, it reminded me a little bit of watching Olivia Munn on The Daily Show. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually <laughs> never seen her on The Daily Show, so I it guess... It wasn't really her best fit, I don't think. There are Did, better has ways she ever had a her. good fit in anything? <laughs> uh, hello, Psylocke. Uh, that was... <laughs> I have one, I have one, I have one. She was really good at Magic Mike. Oh, was she? Yeah. Okay. Haven't okay. seen it. I don't remember. I don't remember her in Magic Mike. But. Then you haven't seen Magic Mike enough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pump those numbers up, dude. All right. I got. Yeah, those I'll, are I'll rookie numbers. Magic Mike numbers. Yeah, dude. Yeah, one. <laughs> <laughs> Total rookie number one. <laughs> I I don't know why. What the fuck was it for Christmas? One of those like it must have been Christmas because it just it just happened recently i got a notification on my phone like like memories uh from facebook and uh-huh. it was like hey uh remember a couple years ago someone gave you magic mike blu-ray for 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 as a gift and you were really excited and you posted about it here's a awesome. reminder <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like well, oh good. man i love that movie um so anyway um why were we talking about Olivia Munn? Oh, Louisa. <laughs> Louisa Kim is the, yes. is a technician, and she's so excited. She starts explaining the the whole how terraforming works to all, to the to the the crew of the Enterprise, mm-hmm. and she's showing them around. And then uh, they start talking to different people that that work there. And one of them is like his name's like Bjorg Borgensen or Borg, yeah. <laughs> some bullshit fucking name. That's about right. Yeah. yeah. And and what's so funny is that he 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 has no like. Like Norwegian, like accent. It he sounds like <laughs> just some dude from like the valley. It's like Picard too, though. Like Picard is supposed to be French. I guess. So. I mean, yeah, granted, so. this is like several hundred years in the future. Accents really shouldn't still be exactly as they are. That's true. I guess so. I guess so. I guess yeah. everyone should just speak the Queen and, English, and just to, and, <laughs> and and just so that people know who we're talking about in general. I think this who we're talking about is Melanson. Uh, Bjorg Bjorgensen? Yes, that, Bjorg that... Bjorgensen, a.k.a. Bjorg Bjorgensen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you He's have... the one with the hair. Yeah. He's got the mullet hair. And then yeah. you have the guy who's kind of balding and he looks really sleepy. Like he hadn't yeah. slept in like 10 days. <laughs> oh, never yeah. mind. That's Malinson. Because he died. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, Bjorn Sorry. is the one with the... The blonde the, guy. The guy... The blonde... Yeah. The, oh, the, the right, villain right, yeah, from yeah. the Die Hard movies. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, that, that is him. Yeah. The heavy who gets who gets killed. Yeah. Bjorn to rock. Yeah, and then Bjorn Bjorgensen, he's 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 he meets everybody, and he's like, "Oh, cyborg, where are you from? Uh, how how were you made? What a weird uh, exchange! You yeah. doesn't yeah. go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was I thought it was gonna pay off later. Like, oh, it turns yeah, out that's that this why is AI. all these dialogues are so con- like awkward and yep. uncomfortable. None of and- these things belong to Chekhov. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the thing is, it's like he he asks, "Where are you from? What happened? Who who made you?" And Data actually says the equivalent of that's a long story. Yeah. Isn't it? Shouldn't Data be just going, oh, well, I will. <laughs> yeah. Given it's Data, he should just be, oh, I was created by, you know, we know the name of the scientist. Yeah, I don't know, I, but we, someone does. <laughs> yeah. Tim. By the, the Tim Horton. Horton. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Horton. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, then he perfected the croissant witch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My insides are made entirely of Timbits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Horton? listening from Canada, Tim Hortons is like the it's the it's the um the, you know donut shop with bakery. I didn't That's know the, that. How did I oh, get yeah, that name? Tim Horton. I don't know. Yeah, it's a place. It Tim Hortons. Yeah, they're they're name. fine. Okay. It's like it's like it's like uh, uh, if you want fast food, but it's more donut oriented and it doesn't feel as shitty to eat. That's Tim Hortons. Oh, okay. Like Tim like Hortons. Panera kind of thing. No, because Tim Hortons is definitely like it has a drive through and you just pick st- shit out and like you can order things like at a McDonald's and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's like, kind of on a level Star- of, like Starbucks. a Wendy's or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, it's like okay. that. Okay. But, but it's donut centric. I okay, say as though yeah. I live in Canada. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm weirded out by your bagged milk, Canada. Why do you have a holster <laughs> for it? <laughs> um, <laughs> they'll They'll go out of their way to justify their stupid milk bags. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to cut the bag open and not, and not be able to reset. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on, Ricardo. <laughs> Mexico, Mexico does that too. Like they, really? do, really? they do milk in a bag. Why, yeah. Why do why why milk in a bag? I don't know. I I, I always never understood it. Like you, it would always spill in the fridge. Always. Because <laughs> it's that in a bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. And then, uh, so back to the episode. Back, in, no, no. There's no need to cry over spilt milk. And uh, <laughs> and she shows him a chart, and it's like 35 years to terraform planet. And I'm thinking, mm-hmm. God damn it! You think fucking, <laughs> you think old fucking um, Hal Fishman or whatever his name is, the, the, old, the old man? You think he's gonna? You think he's gonna survive 35 years? Oh, oh, man. Man. You you also bring up an interesting point where uh, the the problem with uh terraforming is that because it takes decades and it seems like you have to be there the whole time you probably only get to terraform like two planets max uh, for your for your life. lifetime yeah it, well it seems like it's like also like <sighs> there's only four people dude there's <laughs> only four people dude i'm gonna definitely get annoyed with these people really yeah. fast, i have to dude. either start yeah. loving these people yeah. and like yeah. potentially start families here yeah, or we are fucked. It doesn't make sense know? that there's that there's only four people and only one woman. Like, there's no chance of reproduction in this fucking in this group at all. No, like, no. What she's in sleep? What with are fucking you talking sleepy? about? Sleepy Look eyes? Bjorn Bjorgensen? <laughs> <laughs> well, Bjorn's Fishman? got that hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Look at that <laughs> dreamboat hair. Yeah. Uh, I, I, does any okay? I'm just going to explain. Hal Fishman was a local news anchor for KTLA five here in Los Angeles. I think he, yeah, that's where he ended up eventually. But I think he did jump around from a couple of local news stations. Okay, but that's where I know him. Anyway, from. yeah, uh, yeah, Hal Fishman yeah. is a SoCal classic. Yeah, yeah I guess so. He's like, uh, <laughs> he's no John Beard. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Uh, so, so they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, we we were working here. The the old man from up is like, hey, Carl. He's like, hey, we're we're working here. We're we're busy. You know, we're we got hydraulics, we got probes, we got you you name it. We were doing it over here, and he's kind of overcompensating. You're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, dude? And he's really excited about about, and he's like, hey, hey, uh, Arthur, uh, go show them the hydraulics. And then Arthur's like, now. And he's like, dude, yes, go, it's get, go so in there. so suspicious. Yeah, very <laughs> sketchy. It, it almost feels like Arthur was going to tell them a secret, like, dude, fucking this guy, Carl, he fucking beats us, dude. He beats <laughs> the shit out of us. But like, the, by the end of the episode, though, you're like, wait a minute, why did he compel him to do that right then? It's not like yeah. he actually wanted to kill yeah. him. I the only thing I can yeah. think of is that he was he was worried he was going to say something. Because uh, the this this guy, the bald guy, is the guy who is in direct contact with the crystal people. Yeah, like, yeah. I so guess. I think he was just like, "Shut up, go back to your room." So, oh, you, I also want to go ahead. Sorry, all right. Sorry, sorry, I sorry. Cut you, but I just cut you re- off, dude. But just real quick, um, this episode uh, stood out to me as one where there are like at least three instances of of crew members telling other people, "You better come down here," or "I think you need to see this." <laughs> With no yeah, request yeah, for clarification yeah. from the from yeah. the receiving party. By the way, I hate when people do that. The, the like someone will text you and it's like, "Hey, can you give me a call?" And they <laughs> yeah. they know you can't. They they fucking know you can't give them a call. They they, <laughs> they know you're you're like busy, and you're like, I had a friend who who did that to me once, and I'm like, motherfucker, it better be an emergency, dude. 
And he and then from that point on, he always clarified, hey, give me a call and get a chance. Not important at all. And then I knew right. it. Like, oh, cool. This is, he just wants to bullshit around. Well, and cool. I, well, like Sarah often tells me, well, she has, she's been doing it far less, but she used to do it all the time where she's like, hey, I got to talk about something important with you tonight. I I'm like, that. okay, what is it? She's like, I'll tell you tonight. I'm like, you can't do that. You oh, have to tell me yeah. what at least yep. the topic is. Yep. yep. <laughs> tell you what. And then the topic will be like, hey, so where are we going for dinner tomorrow <laughs> or something like that? <laughs> and, I'd be, and I'd be like, God damn it. I, I, I could have, if, if that was the topic, I could have at least been thinking of options for dinner or something. Yeah. Or just, just how you could have typed that out. Hey, tonight, <laughs> tonight we should talk about what we're going to have for dinner tomorrow. That's, yeah. that's how much easier. And yeah. like, just, I fucking hate it, dude. If she, if, if someone does that to me, I won't show up. I'd be like, you know what? I'm not going home tonight. <laughs> I don't want to have a conversation. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sleeping at work. All right. There is, however, one bit in the oh, episode we go. that, that kind of oh, goes against gonna... the grain. There is one bit in the episode that goes against the grain. It's when Jordy, uh, you know, uh, says in distress to the end, says, we have a problem. Bicard immediately responds, be specific. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, like, Dan, yeah, do that all the time. Please. Dan, I thought I thought you were going to justify people who do that. I was like, no, don't. <laughs> don't you do it, dude. Oh, you, it not makes here, the conversation much more dramatic when we finally <laughs> talk. Yeah. I love anxiety. Um, uh, <laughs> I love not knowing things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hate when when I hate that whether it's an email or something. Just it's like, hey, how about you just text me when you know I'm able to fucking talk? You fucking yeah. piece of shit. Um, <laughs> and, and so so they send old fucking um, Arthur into the the chamber, and you hear horrible noises. Yeah, and Arthur they open the doors finally, and Arthur's dead. Yeah, I thought he was being crushed to death. There's a lot of screaming, yeah. honestly. Like, yeah, it's like it, you're expecting an incredibly gruesome scene once the door opens. But it's really, like, it's just he was shot up like maybe twice. Like in the but head? he screamed yeah. like four times. Yeah, he screamed like he was being waterboarded and then they pulled all his nails one by one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how he was screaming. And they opened the door and he's like sunburned. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, the laser man, laser yeah. burned, and and so uh, I'm I'm gonna skip through a lot of this bullshit because it's a lot of filler. Uh, <laughs> they take Arthur up, and it, it turns out he's dead. Arthur's dead, uh, <laughs> and so Jordy and Data stay behind to do some investigation, investigation, investigating, <laughs> and, uh, and and Data's like, uh, "Hey, Jordy, turn on this bad boy, this bad boy of a laser. I'm gonna fucking scope it out." And he starts doing some tests, and the fucking laser takes fucking it, it, it's possessed it gets taken over and it starts mm. shooting the shit out of fucking data but data's uh, fucking data's got the speed of fucking van damme and he's dodging <laughs> the fucking lasers left and right yeah man that all looks so cool oh wait we didn't see anything <laughs> no, 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 not at all and he, so, he did two dodges they did yeah, two dodges yeah. and then they were yeah. like okay we find only have two dodges but then later on He's like, yeah. I, I adjusted my tactics. Yes. Oh, yeah. Listen, that sounds really interesting. Anything. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, they don't have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and they finally get the door open and Data's like, fine. He comes out and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. They tried to kill me. I'm fine. Not a scratch on him, dude. And Bjorn Bjorgensen's like, oh, man. Oh, friend. This is weird. You killed my laser. Um, <laughs> well, he's mad. He, he's like, I'm mad you destroyed my laser. And Data's yeah. like, yeah, I had to. It was yeah. trying to kill me. Yeah. I had no like, choice, you, you fucking idiot. You want <laughs> And then like, Bjorn. Oh, my laser. And, work, work, work. Yeah. In, in, a very comedic, <laughs> in a very comedic way, just drops his, his fucking, his like wrench on the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, I love that moment. <laughs> it's, it's a very, that was like, a year of work. Yeah. And then Data probably should have been like, well, I could fix it for you in a few minutes if you want me yeah. to, because I'm Data. It's pretty much a, a move, like it's a an 80s action comedy move. It's like a smoking <laughs> bandit. It is like... Either that or like adventures in babysitting or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When like, they get back to the car and it's it's like the mechanic just fixed the car. And then it yeah. goes out and comes back and it's broken again. And the mechanic goes, oh, good. And he drops the <laughs> wrench. Yep. Um, <laughs> and so they're they're back on the uh, on the bridge. And now the crew from the planet's on the, on, on the Enterprise. 
and they begin talking about this uh, about what's going on and it seems like like uh, Carl's hiding something he, he they can't figure it out they can't <laughs> I don't know why the whole plot is based on yeah. Carl being an asshole yeah if yeah, Carl yeah. had reported to, like if he's just a good person right like cuz like he this Not is even what a makes good person a- just a regular fucking person <laughs> <laughs> He's essentially almost evil by being like, we're going to ignore all the signs just so I can do this really boring job. Yeah, the part that I forgot was how um, extensively they tried to communicate that they recount later on at that table discussion. I was like, like, oh, wait, no, they they really gave a lot of signs. Never mind. Fuck this guy. Yeah, fuck this guy. This guy, he got, he, he's essentially responsible for, for bald guy's death. Like, because he just kept pushing them. And he's like attempted genocide he, merely resulted in a single homicide and he told them to go into the room he, if he didn't go in he would have been fine i know he <laughs> he killed arthur dude he killed arthur yeah and then so um so then they they they're they're on the bridge and they're trying to figure out what's going on and carl's no help and um <laughs> So yeah picard tells him if you're not going to help get out of my room good we yeah, go yeah. back to your room that we've made for you here. So Jordy and Data are, are are like looking around in the uh, the the room where the the laser killed the man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Jordy uses his fucking his his fucking predator vision, and <laughs> in the hole where the laser was getting shot at, he sees something, and he's like, "Oh, there are these elements. These you know, no, it's nothing's carbon based, but there's some crazy fucking lights, and it sounds a lot like Jordy's fucking tripping. Like he just <laughs> eat a bunch, bunch of mushrooms, <laughs> a little bit." And then, um, I don't know how they get the, this little, this light, I guess you'd call it. I don't know how they get it into the enterprise. Like, they never show that. Like they just cut away. And then the next scene after the commercial break, Yeah, you can only it's, presume they that they transported it. it. Like you yeah. Yeah. He knows what he he's doing. Statham came down. He's like, Oh, move away, oh, mate. <laughs> I can hold this with my bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got one of those glass dumps with beauty and the beast. <laughs> And my hands are greased for protection. It should be fine. Yes, dude. <laughs> so Statham brings the fucking the, the light a, back yeah. up. Yeah, I mean that is, that is his job to transport dangerous things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he brings over the the thing up to the the, the Enterprise, and then the episode and becomes essentially about something else. Yeah, completely. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a classic quadary of like, what, what is life? Like what constitutes life? Like, right. you know, what is intelligent is, life and how can you, like, how are you supposed to treat intelligent life forms? Et it's like, the thing is, the thing is the moment they were like, well, it's not carbon. How could it be life? And then data should be like, uh, well, <laughs> well, what is data made of? He's made of plastic. He's not. He's not fucking made of carbon. That's you open him up, you see computer circuits. Yeah, and farts. <laughs> I guess so. But then, but then he's. They argue he's a, a autonomous person doing his own shit. So it's like, are they not? Like I don't understand. Maybe like, th- maybe data was built with a with a loophole embedded in him. Like there's just an inanimate carbon rod somewhere. <laughs> it's like he's a carbon based life form. Look at the rod. <laughs> he's got it in there. It's yeah. in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's so stupid. Hey, I'm I'm just under I'm just trying to understand this show. <laughs> I'm contextualizing so- <laughs> it the only way I know how. Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> so so the the. After Jason Statham brings a light over to the to that room, <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're looking at it and they're like, "Well, there's no carbon in it." And oh, fuck, dude, I, 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 I mean, I'm just mad repeating this shit, dude. So I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> try to say it with the least amount of words because it's pissing me off. Okay, the, stupid fucking Wesley's there for no goddamn reason. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Number one, he, it's because no it's his mom's office. Yeah. He's just hanging out in his mom's office because so he's so nothing he can else deliver to do. Deliver the line. Oh, that looks so beautiful. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking war criminal. <laughs> I'm starting to, to to get to the point where I look at Wesley's face and I it just takes me to like a 10 anger. And like, in, in, in like the anger meter, it's like fucking 10, dude. Oh, man. Wait till he changes costumes. Oof, and, don't tell me you that, Because right now he's got that. that stupid stupid sweater on. Well, and I hate you're the like, sweater more than what he gets later. 
Well, I just hate that he where uh, we're not we'll not we'll not get into this now. Let's not get into this now. No, no fine, spoilers. Fine. I think yeah, I know where you're yeah. going with it though, but yeah, we'll get yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um so they're like, hey, there's no it's there's it's it's not really a life form that we that we know of because it doesn't multiply and all this. They they have all these things that that make something uh, uh, a life form. Mm-hmm. Uh, that defines something as a life form, and uh, this doesn't have it. And then it starts like glowing this thing, and and they start backing up really comedically. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the the light is like pulsating and making this weird noise. And then again, they talk to Carl. Hey, what the fuck do you know what this is like, dude? It's pulsating. Uh, it was in the fucking in the thing you were you were trying to laser in that water. And Carl's and, like, and I Carl's like, know. I don't know, I don't know. Are you saying that I violated the Prime Directive? So and, I don't want to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, Carl, you goddamn old man, sit the fuck down, dude. Uh, you don't know what, he, what you're talking about. Yeah. And so Carl like again leaves, and we don't know where he goes. Where is he going? Like he leaves Just insulted. He he yeah. walks out insulted, and we don't know where the fuck he's going. Yeah. And so it's just a weird. This, so the, this next scene is really weird because th- when you first meet uh, Luisa. Mm-hmm. You could tell there's something going on with Riker and her. I don't know yeah, what it yeah. is. They, but they keep cutting back to shots implying that they're looking at each other a lot and stuff. Yeah, and and I don't know if they, they cut things from the the episode or it seems like, like they must have because this is another thing that like develops into nothing. Yeah. So you, you if you feel like there's a connection between them or like did he sleep with her? Did he know her? before this there's something sketchy going on we don't know i don't um, i don't think it's that i think it's just they're just like attracted and then deanna troy picks up on it and then she goes well i think you could figure out more information from her yeah and it reminds me of that scene from from uh tomorrow never dies with james bond where m is like give like m and money penny are like uh giving him the lowdown on what the mission will be. Mm-hmm. And then like, he's like, Oh, you're going to go talk to your old flame. And he goes, Oh, so I have to get information from her. And yes. And then money penny goes, yes, you'll have to pump her for information. I guess it just depends on how much pumping you think you need to do. And like the Deanna Troy, was she implying that she should, he should go over there and fuck her to get more info. <laughs> I don't know, they, but it doesn't 100%, 100%. work. hundred <laughs> percent. Cause he, cause he go, he doesn't actually get any info from her in that scene. No, he they, goes they over. share like, uh, like he, he, like first off he, he gets gives way too info. close to her face. Yeah. And he gives her info. She doesn't give him any info. She just goes, what's going on? And he goes, yeah, it's a, it's, we're th- we think it's a life form. Yeah. And she goes, oh no. And then, and then, and then he he's goes, like, he's like, do you want to see it? And I'm like, oh my god, Riker, you piece of shit jerk, dude. You're sexually harassing everybody. <laughs> you don't ask a lady if she wants to see it. Um, oh no. Not when you just met her. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I like how we actually see Riker leave the scene. <laughs> Yeah, he, it's like th- that's confirmation that nothing happens, and this is all a big yeah, fat nothing. Absolutely. This yeah. this this scene was of no consequence at whatsoever. all. There's th- this it's like the director just people... an excuse to watch her cry. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, this scene, beautiful. Th- th- this episode, there's a lot of. I wonder uh, if this director has like a door fetish because <laughs> people constantly walking in and out of doors. <laughs> <laughs> the door. Well, it's well it's people like okay so this is a scene i wanted to bring up because this is the scene where beverly crusher is apparently doing her science work and all she does is walk back and forth around the set and just yell at the computer so this is what happens what is the magnification 2500 diameters analyze the pattern of the flashes not repetitive or sequential pattern not recognized what is the source of the flashes? Unable to specify. Theoretically not possible from this substance. Disregard incongruity and theorize as to source. I hate that part. <laughs> Life. I hate that part. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, this the is, computer this is, comes up with her own ob- like her own conclusion for her own brain. This like, is about as bad as congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Stark. You've created a new element. <laughs> yeah. 
It's at least in that you could see Stark doing the work himself. Okay, yeah, this actually, is just, yeah, this, this is, is <laughs> worse because she just says like, actually, stop being a computer and just tell me what's happening. Think, think like me, but I don't want to think though. <laughs> yeah, and then the computer flies. Down. It says life. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. and that's just stupid. Like computer <laughs> just says, yeah, life. That's what. That's Fine, what this I'll is. I'll say what you want me to. Jesus. <laughs> Yes, so it has to be life. Are you happy now? I disregarded all of my protocols. <laughs> it's life, okay? <laughs> Fuck, Fuck off. you. <laughs> yeah. it's- and so this light fucking starts fucking itself and it multiplies. It's like a gremlin. <laughs> when like a light hits it uh, after midnight, it multiplies. It basically, basically follows the same fucking gremlin fucking rules. <laughs> Um, and when they get it wet, like it was, it was in water, so it like got angry and it wants to start a war. <laughs> Um, so basically he wants to start, wants to start a war. It thinks to these humans, these, uh, it, it, so this episode does give us the best line. Oh yeah. I have pulled that too. When play they, it. when they play when first start declaring war, let's play. Ugly, ugly, giant bags of mostly water. <laughs> bags of mostly water. An accurate description of humans, sir. You are over 90% water surrounded by a flexible container. That's wrong. That's too much. Life force, do you understand us? We understand. (laughs) We ask that you be gone. We call. We talk. You do not listen. We didn't hear you. We come in peace. Ugly bag of mostly water. (laughs) We try and peace. You still do not listen. Bag who drill in sand of hope and to die. It killed Malanson. <laughs> we see and hear you now. We didn't know you were there. You are beautiful to us. All life is beautiful. Bag in dome did know. Caused much death. Made us kill. War is now with you. <laughs> so that's uh, the uh, ugly bag, ugly giant bags of mostly water. That's so far. This episode's not great, but so far, that's the best line in the yeah. series. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I still <laughs> don't know why they have any concept of like what's ugly or not, or what's a bag. Yeah, yeah like there, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah. that, there's a lot that doesn't make sense, even though it's hilarious. It's possible that they they interfaced with the Enterprise. Like, why are they talking and, and looked at like information and whatnot? And we're like, and, oh, okay. And this is through Universal Translators, so like, why are they talking like that? Yeah, Cause, yeah. Because because aliens. Why, why do they sound like Daleks? Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. also, data is wrong. Humans are not ninety percent water. Humans. Yeah. We we looked this up before the podcast started. H- humans are somewhere between like. 56 55 to 75 percent water or something like that yeah the range is like 45 to 70 ish but but the light is right we are ugly giant bags of mostly water yeah all right Uh, i also raise raise this point before the podcast but yeah it's such a sci-fi classic thing for writers to do to be like well in the alien's eyes the humans are hideous (laughs) (laughs) yeah But, um, but they're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're pretty gross. Most most humans are pretty ugly. We're gross. We poo. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> like, we also have a lot of body hair. Most yeah. of us. Yes. Um, and we and we procreate by shooting liquids into each other. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking gross. We also th- it's funny how like that's that's a, that's how we procreate and it's a sign of love, but it's also a sign of it's also an insult. Like, so <laughs> if you have sex, it's like, it's a loving thing and it's supposed to be a loving thing, you know? And like, th- and, 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 it, but if you spit in somebody's face, <laughs> it's an insult. <laughs> no, but if you come in somebody's face, that's then. a bigger insult. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Oh my uh, god, dude! We went off and these, the rails. And these, and, and these crystal crystal beings, they they procreate. Did you split when light is hitting yeah, them? So yeah. elegant, just like fucking gremlins. <laughs> so we have back and forth. 
yeah. So we have another fucking interchange with fucking Carl and and <laughs> fuck, I'm tired of Carl, dude. I hope he dies. <laughs> and and so they they multiply and they're taking over more parts of the of the of the ship, and they kind of they kind of quarantine them to 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 the, the medical bay where they're at, mm-hmm. and they're trying to figure out how they're multiplying and how they can get them how like they can stop them. And mm-hmm. finally they figure out that they multiply using light. Mm-hmm. So they, the Riker has to go and sh- manually shut off the light. And the, the thing is like, no, you're killing me. A <laughs> mostly bag of stupid water. Um, <laughs> It and so, so fast yeah it's like what yeah. what are they doing on the dark side of that planet yeah they're all yeah, they're yeah. all going oh are they all just dying oh <laughs> fucking there's a genocide every fucking day until the sun goes down <laughs> i guess yeah and they gotta or multiply maybe again. they're using that water yeah. network because because they explain that there's that thin uh, layer of water yeah, yeah, on yeah. the planet yeah. connects them all the yeah. saline so they might they might be all. using that they yeah. might be using that to get to energize everybody together. But. So so anyway, they they basically uh, the things like, hey, you're going to kill me if you turn off the light. I'm scared of the dark. And so <laughs> Picard's like, dude, we don't want to fucking kill you. We we're, we're look, we get it. We're ugly bags of stupid water, mostly water, but we don't want to kill you. We, we we're 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 we love you. We think you're beautiful, man. You're cool. And DeAndre's like, yeah, all life is beautiful. I'm like, God damn it. Not all life is beautiful, dude. There's some <laughs> ugly fucking animals out there, dude. Word up. <laughs> yeah. and, like humans. And humans. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's old humans that look like fucking turtles. Yeah. <laughs> That's Burn unfair turtles. turtles. Yeah, that's true, dude. <laughs> Turtles aren't all racist, um, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so uh, <clears throat> so then you um, you have Picard, and, and he kind of starts talking it, and he's like, "Hey, yeah, come on, baby, we didn't mean to yell at you or try to kill you. <laughs> uh, we're, we're peaceful people." Come on, a- baby. And he he's like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give you turn on back the lights, and we're gonna send you on back." And it's like, "Yes," and then and then uh, they turn on the light. It kind of gets a little power when they just turn on they, they dim the lights back on slightly mm-hmm. and so they um the thing kind of comes back to life and it says hey you stupid bags of water you pieces <laughs> of shit how about you don't bug us for another three fucking decades and then we'll see centuries where we're yeah centuries sorry mm-hmm. yeah it's it's such a, such a weirdly specific amount of yeah. time that they were like come back and th- it reminds me of that that line in the end of Twin Peaks, where uh, I don't want to say give away who says it, but that person says, "I'll see you again in twenty five years." Oh yeah, and you're like, "That's yeah. so specific. Why yeah. are you so specific?" And it turned out to be completely true. <laughs> and then, are we gonna get another Star Trek series in three centuries? Probably, Probably. directed by <laughs> David Lynch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Star Trek directed by David Lynch. That well, could Cyborg actually be Cyborg pretty Lynch. good. Cyborg that Lynch. Might, that might be kind of sick. <laughs> Starring Vin Diesel. Lie. <laughs> cyborg vin diesel <laughs> yeah yeah uh his family uh so uh, <laughs> that's all he could say yeah oh uh, family <laughs> um so then <laughs> <laughs> so then what is what does my vin diesel sound like a lot like stallone i don't know <laughs> hey, yo family they're just growling <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just a general growl yeah and so 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 they they basically are like the things like hey come back in 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 not in three decades in three um in centuries three centuries yeah. uh don't bug us you fucking stupid bags of water and so they, <laughs> they they teleport it back onto the stupid water on the planet and he's like and basically you find out that fucking the walter or whatever his name is <laughs> he, he just kept doing his he they knew that there was something on the fucking planet they 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 saw the sand moving they saw all these things there was all these signs but they ignored it because they're fucking ugly stupid fucking mullet wearing people dude (laughs) well i I think it was it was carl keeping it from everyone else though yeah everyone else just was like we're like they're not sure but they were told not to look into it by fucking ed asner because he just kept saying actually bjorn saw some evidence and he was like well look at it though and carl's like nope it's fine no don't look at it meanwhile Lisa didn't see nothing I want to spend the last years of my life terraforming this planet. God damn it. <laughs> we only Nobody borrowed. Nobody can take that away from me. We only borrow <laughs> this planet from our children. I wonder if they, if, if, if he has some sort of like 
like being a boss complex because like there's a line earlier where Louisa she alludes to she says terraforming makes you feel a little godlike and that's a little weird yeah to say that. true um and so i wonder if these people feel really entitled to what they're doing because probably they're like, fucking humans i mean that would fit the profile just, of someone who dedicates their life to the practice yeah yeah can only do it twice <laughs> so so they send it back and they're like yeah that's crazy huh life's fragile life's weird anyway and ed asner going. tries he, ed asner tries to give a speech where he's just like oh my god i almost killed them all it's like you, but you kind of knew they were yeah. there that's why you were yeah. so nervous at the beginning yeah <laughs> you knew they were there <laughs> and, and why else would you be nervous <laughs> yeah. they they teleport the little light back onto the planet and they're like hey we're gonna we're gonna quarantine this planet no one come over here it's gotta let these babies kind of procreate like crazy yeah. and we're gonna take bjorn bjorgensen and luisa and fucking ed asner out of here <laughs> Go find something else to do with your lives. Yeah. Yeah. And you have wasted dec- uh, like a decade here yeah, already. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go somewhere. Yeah. You fucking idiots. <laughs> um, and that was the end of the episode. And the the more I talked about it, the more I realized I hated it. I thought I was going to change my mind. Did yeah. it? Actually, yeah, went the you, other way. As we went through, I, my my rating in my mind yeah. went lower and yeah. lower. It's such a hasty <laughs> exit, too, because it's yeah. like they're already <laughs> fucking off like in another direction. And Picard's like, well, we're going to try to make sure this doesn't happen again. Yeah, let's that's get it. out of here. That's it. Let's get out. And that's why I'm only going to give this stupid fucking episode a three, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give it like a four. I'll, or, I'll be the nice I, one today. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't think it's like horrible, but it's so annoying. It is. A- and like, yeah. and, and from, from a storytelling perspective, I hate that the whole thing is basically the problem of one guy. If Ed Asner was just slightly more open-minded and like <laughs> was willing to just be like, hey, oh, you're he- there's a federation ship here. Um, there's some weird stuff we've been seeing. Do you want to like help us take a look around and see? And potentially ruin avoid- my life's work? <laughs> Think about it's it. Just- but what would you that do? also brings up that also brings up like the morality of terraforming because I just think we sh- shouldn't do that. Like this, we just shouldn't do that. Well, Starfleet like, tried to make it kosher by saying like, well, we, no, we looked into it, it and we tried to make extra super sure there ain't no life on the well, planet. Well, well, to me, even if there is no life, I don't think we should do it. Like it feels like it's like damaging a national monument or something to me. Where it's it's like people are so eager to like right now go to Mars and shit, and I'm like, let's not go to Mars. Let's leave it alone. <laughs> like, ah, man, no gonna, one's using it. We're just gonna fuck it up. Like <laughs> like you know? Yeah. yeah like yeah. I don't want I don't want I don't want us to go to Mars. Elon Musk, shut the fuck up. I know you're you know, Tesla and SpaceX is all just a cover for your military weapons operation anyway. So like just be open about it and stop lying. We're not going to Mars. Let's not go to Mars. It's a bad idea. I don't think we should do it. Like everything we touch gets totally fucked up. Poor Arnold Schwarzenegger, should- he'll be heartbroken. <laughs> Elon uh, Musk is a Howard Stark of, of the U.S. <laughs> eventually, eventually, his son will will fix it, hopefully, and save the world from fucking Thanos. Uh, I think at least Howard seemed like a nice person. <laughs> nah, he, he was a piece of shit. Howard was a piece of shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's where I'm at. I fucking hate this episode. <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to get any lower. But it did. I hope there's a sexy episode coming up soon <laughs> to raise my spirits. Well, the next episode, <laughs> you're going to love it. It's coming of age, which is a very Wesley centric episode. God, Fantastic. <laughs> if you're the traveler, it is a sexy episode. I, I, guess, you're right, dude. I guess you're right. <laughs> but if you're not, Gotta all look. you're going to do is be really mad at Wesley. <laughs> I actually don't remember what the episode was like. So I. Uh, Look yeah. forward to it. Uh, Wesley is just a huge asshole. He's, as from what I remember, I think I think this is no the spoilers. One. No spoilers. Don't talk. No, Don't talk okay. about it. Okay, no. I'm not. Gonna talk about I want to go in this with with no rage, and then end up with a lot of rage. Have the rage build. Yeah, build yeah. I want to go in already halfway. There. Fill your rage <laughs> gauge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Max it out organically. Build. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was. That was Home Soil, everyone. Thanks for listening to the podcast. If you've been enjoying this podcast and want to listen to more episodes, you can find them at newbiestartrek.com. That's 
N-E-W-B-I-E Star Trek.com, or you can just find Newbie Star Trek wherever podcasts exist. Um, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. Don't you think don't you think that if they're listening to this episode, they've already downloaded it though? Uh, they find it in different spots. Some people, okay. um, s- since we tell people to go, this is, this is a little behind the scenes, since we tell people to go to newbiestartrek.com and it's Podbean centric, especially if you're looking at it on a phone, the first thing you see is Podbean. Right. Yeah. Is the Podbean playback. Yeah. Which is fine if you guys want to do that. And actually that does help out more. Our metrics are more highly rated if you use Podbean. But as someone who uses Podcast Addict and doesn't like Podbean's interface, I don't mind if you guys go to Apple Podcasts or somewhere else just to do your thing because it's it's way more it's way more convenient. Yeah, just to go so like Podcast Addict is so much more convenient than Podbean. Like, As it's someone just, who likes beans, I don't care which way you listen to it. Just listen to it. <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, we've weaseled uh, our way into every beans. place. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm back in keto, so I can't eat beans anymore. But man, damn. When I'm not in keto. Oh, I, I almost forgot to mention this episode. One thing it had going for it was that it was still rated for TV PG for sex and fear. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, where's why? the sex? I don't know. <laughs> they were, the little lights were fucking, dude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they were reproducing. Yeah. Like why on camera. For- <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Un- completely uncut. Yep. Like you think yep. you think there might be a sexy scene with Luisa and Riker because nope. he goes in. It's a dark room. It's the light, dude. And the he's like, fucking. And then he, he starts just like gets up and walks away. <laughs> and he goes, "Okay, you don't want to do this right now." And he walks away. Uh, you know, which what? is uh, actually will... the way you should approach it. You know, she's crying. You're like, this is not the good, t- not a good time. Wait, I'm gonna make one dude. last attempt at a meaningful thought about this episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> at the end. It gives us a stark reminder or assertion that even that far off into the future when Starfleet, like it's post-scarcity and society supposedly great, humanity still has a lot of growing to do be- and precisely because they still act relatable to us now. Yeah, and then <laughs> it's also they're still discovering things and I guess the scientists are still dummies. Like, because like the Enterprise found out that this is life in like 30 minutes right yeah it's true <laughs> whereas the federation of scientists apparently visited a bunch of times and were like no there's definitely no life they needed Don't a Jordy with it. them apparently <laughs> it was Jordy who discovered it in like that they, ring well yeah they needed a blind guy and they needed an android and then that that's hey, hey Riker, easy there <laughs> uh newbie star trek that's the podcast also if uh you like us generally talking about uh movies and tv shows and whatnot uh, we have another podcast, the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast, which you can find at FugitiveFrames.com. Uh, it's where we basically kind of just discuss kind of movies and shows in a way that we usually list them, but sometimes we're like, eh, let's just talk about a general topic, like uh, like a Neil Breen, or even if we're talking about a, gen- a topic, we might like still have our guests uh, give us a list of what they think they like the most, stuff like that. So yeah, so that's uh, that's the Fugitive Frames Film Podcast. And also, we have a YouTube channel. It is Fugitive Games. Uh, and that's essentially Let's Plays. And we're also doing more live streams. Right now, um, by the time this episode comes out, I think we should have just finished up Phoenix Wright. So you can watch our entire voice acted run of Phoenix Wright uh, in that playlist that'll be up uh, on our channel. And also, we should be going into the last legs of um, what's called a hat in time, uh, which is fine. And uh, we also gonna do live streams of uh, what was it? Uh, Hyrule Warriors, right? Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. Yeah, we've already and we've already done a couple. It's a fun game. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna keep going through it, and then uh, I think by the time this episode comes out, we'll have done our Phasmophobia stream, um, which we want to do this uh, the Friday of the week we're recording this. Uh, so yeah, yeah, lots of stuff coming down the pipeline and at uh, Fugitive Games. Um, but yeah, the next episode on newbie Star Trek is going to be coming of age, uh, Wesley centric episode. And, uh, let's see how much we hate our lives by the next week. <laughs> uh, but, but in the meantime, uh, this has been newbie Star Trek. Thanks for listening. Stay safe, everyone. You have a great day. Bye everyone. <laughs> oh, wow. Al Pacino. What are you Which doing here? These red shirts so I buy the cocaine from. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, you bite from Marvin. <laughs>